Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be doing, let me adjust my lighting, quick review on Anthony's birthday present, which is tomorrow. So I thought this would be for several guys, for several guys um, on YouTube that are interested in humidors. I could shut the door, but he probably won't hear me, so <clears throat> let's get reviewing. From what I know, I don't know a lot, but I will show you what they look like. He's got a case. He doesn't smoke a lot of cigars, but the ones that he does smoke, I bought a house today too, so the ones he put, I put an offer in, so we'll see. Uh, anyway, the ones that he does smoke, um, I got a nice humidor that can, we can set out on a coffee table or whatever. I was wanting black. This is all they had, so it wasn't cheap. But let me get it out. So what it, what you do, what it's meant for is to keep cigars fresh. If you put them in the fridge, they get dry, and as you smoke them, they break in half. And if he orders 20 at a time, it's cheaper. But he doesn't smoke that many. He smoke one like every other day. Um, or he's never, I don't think I've ever seen him smoke more than one in a day. Oh, it's so heavy. I have no wrapping paper. I might have to wrap it in Christmas paper. Isn't that crazy? But he's a guy. He'll never notice. Just try and find some red paper or something. I'm sure I can find something before we start packing. But anyway, so I will show you what it, what it looks like and try and explain how it works. For, for for any men that are looking for a review or whatever before you buy one. Let me wipe the styrofoam off. So, here it is. This is what a humidor is. And on here is a gauge. Now, you fill it with distilled water. Um, and it has to be only distilled water. Like you would put in an iron. Although I, our iron is fried because of that flood that we had. The heaters we had directed towards drying the, the floor melted the cord on my iron. So anyway, we need to get another iron. But um, what was the point of that? Oh, you always want to put distilled water, maybe a tip of the day, in your iron. Because it can, if you put regular water in, I've ruined many of t shirts by pushing the steam button and having rust come out. Distilled water won't do that. So, But you always want to dump the water out after you're done using it versus leaving it in there. And then you go to use it, you push the button on a $100 blouse and you've got rust all over it. It's done for. Anyway, so let's open this up. Um, here's what it looks like. So. You take the lid, when you open it up, it's got glass, that's what I wanted, so you can see inside of it. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. Okay, so he's got a case of cigars, but I'm not going to open them up um, until we get this fired up. So it has a tray, now it holds 50 to 100 12 inch cigars. Those, I think 12 or 13, and this smells like cedar. Yeah, it is. So you obviously stack them along here, line them up. He gets uh, some of the expensive ones are the wide, you know, real wide. And they're about, well, I, I 12 inches. Well, he cuts them off the end. So here's what the inside looks like. like this. It's cedar inside and then you can see the gauge and then a glass top. I wanted a glass top so I wanted it to sit on the coffee table you know with some coffee table books. We're going to get all new furniture. I'm going to go hit Pier 1 tomorrow. Probably finally going to invest in a vanity and I think I'll put all the black furniture in one of the spare rooms. Um, everything in our bedroom, and yeah, I'm debating. I think I'm gonna go with white 
versus a Hayworth, but I'm tired of black. We've been with black for about 10 years. But anyway, so it's got a glass top, which is what I wanted, but I wanted black. And I was going to go to Walmart and get one, but I read about 48 reviews, and they were rated from 1 to 5 stars, and they were not good ratings. So I thought, okay, I'm going to just go to a, a cigar shop. So, excuse me. So, yeah. And then down towards the bottom, you can stack more. I mean, this is pretty deep. You can see how deep the box is. So you can see how nice it looks once it's closed. And I will show you once we have it full. Um, his birthday's tomorrow, the 7th. So um, is there a latch there? Looks like a lock. She didn't give me a key. Anyway, um, so what you do is you mount this. This is like the humidifier. And you constantly have a gauge on the outside. You want to watch. We don't have any directions. She didn't give us any. I, and, and I'm thinking I kind of had to pin around to him without him knowing. Uh, shouldn't we have directions? I googled it. It said, yeah. Because so we're gonna have to do some research now. I just dropped something that was with it, but this is all the humidifier is. So you, what you do is you take um, what kind of water did I call that? Distilled, and you pour it over top, and then it has oh, and that this sticks down below. You can lean it up against the side, I assume. Let me grab what I dropped on the floor. I can get it later. I, that may be a sticky thing to adhere it. And then the tray goes in, and it keeps them moist. Now, she said it's best to keep them stacked on the top, but if you have more, then I think the top holds 50, and put 50 on the bottom. I don't think at any point he'll ever have 100. Now, he does have a box down there of 100. Uh, we've been waiting to open. I was going to review those too. I'm going to start reviewing Cuban cigars maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll see if I have a lot of men that watch my channel that like the frag reviews. I have a lot of men's frags coming in. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. That is a humidor. So, and there's the gauge. Whoa. There's the gauge. So you can see it's already got some dampness in it, which is a little strange. I'm not understanding. It might need to be calibrated. I don't know. I don't have any directions. So that's what a humidor is. So let me grab what I just dropped on the floor. And pretty soon, probably starting tomorrow, you guys are going to see we have to be out of here by the end of June. So boxes galore. Um, yeah, this is a 3M, and it looks to be like a magnet or so, a very something, something very sticky. So, there's that. I'm going to put that back in the box. I don't know what this is, whether it's broken or it's, I don't know, it was just floating around, so... I don't know what it is. It's got styrofoam on both the ends. So, yeah, we're going to have to look it up, Google it. Yeah. So, anyway. And then I'm going to do a perfume review. I did one the other night. Did I upload that? I'm going to have to look. I don't think I did. And then a tip of the day, real quick, because tomorrow, since this is his birthday, we did go. I felt that if I'm going to buy a house, I wanted, I mean, it's only the biggest biggest purchase of our life. I wanted him to see it. So he loved it, but there's a few things that we had to ask for in the offer, um, like a backyard and sprinklers. We don't want to have to pay, pay to put that in or do it ourselves because we did it at our other house and it was a nightmare. So he did. Anyway. That is what a humidor looks like. So that's what he's been wanting. That's what he got. It was $180. So 
yeah, it was on the expensive side. Um, I bought him one, I think, five years ago, and it was about this wide. I will show it another time. And it was cedar, but it was just garbage. The the humi humidifier part looked almost like a pregnancy test, if you know what that looks like. Kind of long, and you just put the water on it. It was lame. It fell apart. We just put, I think we put our the cards that we buy each other in it. Yeah. So this one is a lot different. See the box, yeah. So I'm gonna put it back in the box and I can break it. This goes on the top. Oh, once I get it in the box. So that is what I got him, and I got him some other stuff. Oh, I'm gonna break this thing. And it is heavy. So, um, what it does is it keeps your cigars moist. Um, nothing worse than smoking a dry cigar. It smokes more. It ashes more. Um, yeah, and if you spend, you know, let's say, you can spend anywhere upwards from 20 to $30 on an expensive cigar. Excuse me. Or you can, you can, ugh. Or you can get, you know, a case of cigars for $60. It just depends on what you get, what your preference is. So, if you want your cigars, I said, I said, try the fridge. The fridge dries them out, believe it or not. You want them in a moist environment, not too moist. We're going to need to know what that temperature gauge needs to stay at and watch it. And um, you obviously can't take water away. You know, if we get too much water in it, so we're going to have to put a little in and watch the gauge go up, you know, and until it meets where it needs to be. So there's no instructions. I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to put the receipt back in. He's going to obviously know what I paid for it. I'll put it on the side. We have two weeks to return it. So probably what we'll do is put what he ordered. He has a box down there on the floor. Uh, he hasn't opened it yet because he's waiting. He thinks he's getting a humidor. I told him he's not. I'm going to get him a bomber jacket in the morning. If I can get away. Anyway, so that is what I got Anthony for his birthday in a jersey and some cologne. Anyway, so I thought I would show you guys that in case somebody does a search on a humidor. And I got it from, I think, the Tobacco Connection. So... Um, and they had all of one to choose from. So Walmart had several different ones to choose from. They did have a black one. I did want one with glass on the top so you could see down inside. And I'm going to get him a really nice lighter to go with it to keep inside. Um, so it's, he can all, he always knows where it is. He's always like, where is the lighter? Because I like the candles with it never find one. You can't light a cigar on the stove or anything. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will be back in a few minutes with, um, I have, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and I'm going to do this review. I'm going to have to. I have a package from Canada and I have no idea. It's a couple creams for your face. I have no idea. I'm going to have to wing it and just review it. So I asked them to send me some information on it. Um, it's like some vitamin C serum and some hydrolonic acid. I haven't used it. I'm a little scared to, but so yeah, I will, may review this. My Luxor box is due between the first and the seventh. Tomorrow's the seventh. I will die if it comes tomorrow and I can't review it or open it. Anthony sends no videos on my birthday. I'm like. I made him take the day off. So we shall see. Anyway, um, they're very large and they emailed me and said, hey, they've been bo uh, not bothering me. It's made by Joy and Karma. They've been asking me for, ye for a couple years, will you please review our product? And I said, fine, send it. They said, you don't have to if you don't want to try it. I have not tried it, but I will do a review. I'll tell you what I think about it. Anyway, so I will be back. I'm going to do a perfume review real quick. Did I 
upload that or not. I'll have to look in through look through my videos real quick. I've got so many videos in that Jimmy Choo one, the weird face um, on my video manager page. I have a normal thumbnail and a normal word, a normal title on my picture. It should transfer over to the front page. I'm waiting for it to. If it doesn't, I'll have to try it again. So if you're wondering why that's strange, I was reading the label on my necklace and it said Twisted Silver. I did a video for them. They sent me the necklace. It was pretty expensive. I couldn't remember the name and that's why it had a little round plaque on the side and I was reading it. That's what I was doing. That happened to be one of the thumbnails. So anyway, there's a normal thumbnail on this page but not on the front page. Anyway, so I will let you guys go. If you guys enjoyed this, I will get it uploaded and I will be back in a minute with a video. Sub, sub, sub. Give me a thumbs up. And yeah, let's keep going. And I'm going to start a new channel. I just need to figure out. It's been so long since I've done it. Um, how to do it. And I was going to have some a subscriber walk me through it. But that's not going to happen. So I will figure it out. Anyway, if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, I'm wearing the normal. I haven't worn this in a while. This is the Urban Decay 24-7. Love it. I have it in two colors. This is a Venom. And this is the Urban Decay. Um, this is how much I've sharpened down. It's called something saturated. And it's very wide. And then I have to put pink over it. It's very creamy, but it's very dark. It's like a dark wine color. And then I put pink over it. I think it's beautiful. I used to put yellow over it until I lost the yellow mat. It's in this room somewhere. I'll find it. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I will be right back. Bye. And sorry I didn't have much to tell you about the humidor. I don't know a whole lot. I know it keeps them moist, and we shall see how well it works. If it doesn't work good, we have two weeks to take it back. So, outfit of the day. I'm just wearing, I will show you. While I was out house hunting, I've been house hunting for two and a half three days. I found out we have to be out by the end of June, so I've got to pack. And yeah, so I wore this, my skirt, a white t-shirt, and then just my black boots. Plus I had to go see my lawyer this morning, so anyway, I will be back. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. And give me, yeah, like I said, give me a thumbs up. I don't know what's going on on the side. It's not looking real good. Just gonna start another channel. I'm gonna now that we have a house, a huge brand new house. It's beautiful. It's full of furniture. Um, I'm going to fill it full of brand new furniture. All this stuff is going. Everything, everything is going. So, um, so I'm gonna start ordering Pier One, Pottery Barn, um, Z Gallery, all of them. I've got the got the idea in my head. So yeah. I'm either going to go like the Cape, kind of Cape Cod look, or cottage kind of, or shabby chic, or all three. So anyway, I will let you go. We'll get this uploaded, and I will see you in a minute. Be back with, I, and I also need to get my favorites of the month up soon. And possibly a tip of the day, or a freight review, something. No freight came in today. Probably will all come in tomorrow when he's not at work. So I will see you later. Have a good evening and come back. Bye.